in this video we are going to discuss about the gastric emptying after the food enter into the stomach after the 30 minutes gastric emptying is started it is occur in the slow controlled manner it releases the digested chyme into the duodenum it is favor for the digestion and absorption in the intestine the peristaltic contractions mainly occur in the middle of the stomach so it helpful to move the food into the andral part of the stomach this is the pyloric sphincter this is the fundus and body of the stomach the fundus and body of the stomach is weak musculature compared to the antrum and pylorus so the peristaltic ring like contraction is moves towards the antrum area second contraction in the casting emptying is the antral contraction so it is helpful to mixing up the food with the gastric juice it is a vigorous forceful contraction with closed pyloric sphincter so it is mixing and grinding occur in this area so sometimes the small opening of the pyloric sphincter allow the small amount of the food grinded food into the duodenum it is called as the antral pump in the gastric emptying the last contraction is the retropulsion occur with the, against the closed pyloric sphincter so the food uh, is uh, reverse to the middle part of the stomach and grinding mixing is occur with the closed pyloric sphincter sometimes it open the pyloric sphincter allow the some amount of the food into the duodenum like antral pump retropulsion is important for the mixing and grinding of the food regulation of gastric emptying acidic chyme in the duodenum when the acidic chyme enter into the duodenum it releases the secretin that secretin inhibit the gastric emptying so slow amount of the food is small amount of the food is enter into the duodenum fat digestive products stimulate the secretion of the cholecystokinin and gastric inhibitory peptide these hormones also inhibit the gastric emptying osmolality of the duodenal content when the high osmolality of the duodenal content enter into the duodenum it inhibit the uh, gastric emptying due to the stimulation of the osmolality receptors present in the duodenum low osmolality content stimulate the gastric emptying protein digestion digestive products like amino acids also inhibit the gastric emptying by the cholecystokinin and gastric inhibitory peptide volume of the meal large amount of the meal slowly emptied into the duodenum compared to the small amount of the meal stretching of the duodenum also inhibit the gastric emptying and the neural factor parasympathetic stimulation vagal stimulation stimulate the gastric emptying sympathetic stimulation inhibit the gastric emptying hormonal factors the secretin cholecystokinin gastric inhibitory peptide inhibit the gastric emptying castrin is stimulate the gastric emptying so gastric emptying is controlled slow manner occur it is important for the digestion and absorption of the food in the intestine area summary of the gastric emptying gastric emptying is important for the digestion and absorption of the intestine it is occur in the slow and controlled manner 
mainly peristaltic contraction is important for the moving the food towards the antral part of the stomach and uh, antral contraction is important for the mixing of the food with the gastric secretions and uh, retrofulsion is important for the mixing and grinding of the food the, the gastric emptying is uh, faster in carbohydrate compared to the fat and uh, food in and uh, liquid meal is emptied very fastly compared to the solid meal uh, regulation of the gastric emptying depend on the acidic acidic chyme in the duodenum and uh, fat digestive products protein digestive products the osmolality of the meal content in the duodenum neural factors hormonal factors these are affecting the gastric emptying thank you for watching this video if you like this video share your friends those who are not subscribe this channel please subscribe thank you once again